Hey y'all, it's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. We are gonna make a poinsettia today using the Unique in the Creek flower board. Um, now this is the large flower board that we're gonna be using. Um, so what you're gonna need is um, the board. You're gonna need a whole roll of um, deco mesh, uh, poly jute, this is fabric mesh that I'm going to be using. We are going to do traditional colors on this poinsettia. So we've got the red and then I've got the green for the leaves. Um, the red is cut. It is 10 inch fabric mesh cut at 10 inches. The green is fabric mesh as well that I cut at 11 inches. So it will stick out more on the outside of the board and you'll be able to see the leaves a little bit better once we get everything together. I'm also going to be using these gold um, balls to go on the center of our poinsettia. So here's the board I've already got set up. I've already loaded my zip ties so that we can just wing them in and it's a quick and easy project for anybody to do. I will go ahead and bring y'all down and show you how I put in my zip ties so that we can get started on creating this poinsettia. So let me bring y'all down. So this is our board. This is the one we're going to be just, I'm gonna show y'all how to do the zip ties if you've never done them before. You're going to make sure that the flat end is up toward the ceiling. You're going to take it down one hole and up the next corresponding hole. Very easy. Depending on what pedal you do will depend on whether you leave the pedal open or if you go ahead and close it. For the poinsettia, we are gonna go ahead and close it because our pedal will go just right in there. We can zip tie it and we're done. Uh, so once again, flat part of the zip tie goes up toward the ceiling, stick it down one hole, stick it up the next corresponding hole and go ahead and zip tie those closed. We do all the way around on row two, three, four, and five. These outside rows are just for your leaves, okay? So once you get all your zip ties loaded, all you have to do is close them all and we can go ahead and start our flower. So for this, like I said, the red is 10 by 10 and we are just going to do the traditional sunflower petal for our poinsettia. So we're going to do it with the curved side down. You're gonna turn it into a diamond shape. You're gonna take one end and scrunch it right up to the next corner, just like that. And then you're going to flip it up. Now you wanna to try to make sure that when you stretch out your petals, they are even, or as even as you can get them, okay? Then all you have to do is take your end, and it doesn't matter where you start, but you do wanna start on the outside row and work your way in. So we're just going to stick it in that zip tie, kind of arrange your petal where you want it, and then just zip tie that right end. I generally use a finger width as my guide to make sure that most of your petals are all about the same all the way around, okay? So I'm gonna show you that petal again. Curve side down, diamond shaped, and we're just gonna scrunch from one end to the other, just like that, and then flip it up. Now this mesh is gonna fray a little bit, that's okay, because we can clean it up when we're done. So then we just take it, 
stick it right in that zip tie and zip it shut, just like that. Now I have mostly done all these petals already. So I just saved a few to show y'all. So once you get all your petals done, you can get them all prepped and ready to go and go ahead and stick them in a clothespin. That way, when you get ready to do your project, all you have to do is just put them right in your zip ties. Just like that. So I've got a few already done. I just kind of arrange them as I go. And then we'll come back through and we will cut all of these zip ties. one that we have to fold and all of the rest are already done. Now these are already done. This is what I mean by go ahead and getting all your petals together and then just use a clothespin to clothespin them together. And then you can just take them out and throw them right on your board. And it goes super quick from here. This is a, a pretty fabric mesh, easy to use, but you can definitely use regular deco mesh. You can use jute, um, you can use the poly burlap, whatever you choose, it can be done. You do use 18 pound zip ties. You can use anywhere between four and eight inch zip ties. But the 18 pound is going to be what you're going to need to use these Unique in the Creek boards. When they were, when she was setting them up, the reason she did that was because these, once you get your zip tie closed, these heads go right in those holes, if you choose. On this petal, you're not gonna see them, so it really doesn't matter. But if you put them to the back, then they fit right in the holes. And you won't scratch your customer's door. We've got one more to do on this outside row. So just like that, the outside row is done. Very quick, very simple. And then we're going to, I use a zip tie gun. Uh, you can use um, any kind of tool that you need or have on hand, even scissors. Uh, to go ahead and get these tight because you don't want the petals to fall out. So I use a zip tie gun, which just cut, which tightens and cuts it all at the same time. Definitely 
definitely saves your hands as well. Okay, so we've got those all tightened down and we can go ahead and work on the next row. So we're gonna do the same thing. Just put them right in there, finger length, just to ensure that we get them all approximately the same size. Now we are working on row three. They are labeled on your board. Starting with the outside being row one where we're gonna put our leaves. Um, and then this is officially row two, three, four, and five. See how super quick and easy these are to use. Oh, and just like that, we're already done with that row. So let's go in here, take our zip tie gun, and get those tightened and cut. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and work on row four, doing the exact same thing. I am kind of straightening out my petals as I go, because as with any mesh, the more you mess with it, the more it's gonna fray. So if I can pretty much get it where I want it, then I don't have to go back and mess with it again. Just helps prevent some of the fraying. Almost done with this row. And again, this is row four.
And we are done with row four, y'all. So let's just get these cut. So we have four more petals to go, y'all. Let me see if I can, that's a long phrase. Let me see if I can get that out of there. And you can always go back afterwards and touch and clean this up like you normally would. So we are now working on row five is the very inside you can see how big these things get These boards are 16 inches in diameter. So depending, you know, on what pedal you use um, will depend on how big they actually get. So we now have that very inside done. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is because we're adding the balls, the ornaments to the inside of this, I am going to go ahead and we're gonna flip it over. That way we can go ahead and add our leaves onto this poinsettia, okay? So we're gonna just flip it over. Now here are where you're gonna wanna put your leaves. Right here, you'll see at the top, you'll see two additional holes side by side, and that's where you're gonna put your hanging, either string, twine, ribbon. I generally use zip ties. So we will go ahead and just put our zip tie right in there, just like that. That way when we go to hang it, that's what we're gonna hang it from, y'all. Okay, now for our leaves, we're going to do these leaves a little bit differently because we are working on the very outside of the board. So we're going to, now I did cut these petals 11 inches, just a little bit bigger so it comes out a little bit further so you can see them a little bit better. So we're going to take our zip tie. We are still making sure the flat end is up towards the ceiling. And we're just going to go in the hole just like that, okay? So we are leaving this zip tie open because the way we're gonna add the leaf is going to go right in there and then we're going to zip tie the leaf right in there just like that, okay? So, we are doing the same fold that we did the petals, just like that. Now, what I do is I like to add, now you can stop here and just add the one leaf. I do like to add two leaves to mine, so I do have some already, the rest I already have ready to go. So basically, I'm just going to put one on top of the other, or you can put them just like that whichever you prefer, okay? 
already have it like that, so we'll just leave it. So remember when we turn it upside down, we're now working from the bottom of the board. So you wanna make sure that your leaves, when you put your leaves in, the good side is face down because that's the side that's gonna be showing. And then all you're going to do is kind of tuck that corner right down under the board, between the board and the red mesh. And you're going to just zip tie it in just like that. And then when we flip it back over, we can adjust our petals, okay? So I usually do three sets. You can do the entire board. You don't have to do leaves at all. Um, you can do, you know, whatever you want. I generally just like to do three sets of two. So let's go ahead and I'm just, I'm going to go right here and we're going to do the same thing we just did. So we're going to put two leaves right on top of each other. Just like that. Remembering to flip them over because we are working from the bottom side of the board. We're gonna put it right on top of the zip tie there and tuck it up in the board. Just like that. Now let's do one more set. Let's do it over here. So we're gonna put two more leaves right here. Now we, this is the top of the board. This is where it's gonna be hanging. So we're just gonna throw some leaves right in there. Flip our leaves over, tuck it right up in that board, and zip tie them in. Just like that. And you can arrange them now, or you can arrange them when you Flip it over, whichever you prefer. Just cut that long one off of there. This fabric mesh does fray, but with anything, once you stop messing with it, it'll stop fraying, y'all. So there's our leaves. So you can see they stick out a little bit more because we cut them a little bit bigger. Otherwise, you wouldn't hardly see them. Okay, now we're gonna work on our Senna. So what I've done is I've got these ornaments and I take the tips off and I do hot glue the tip right back down on it just to make sure it doesn't pop off, okay? Then I just take a pipe cleaner and I fish them through that pipe cleaner. So just like this. So then you just have all of your ornaments on the pipe cleaner. Then you're just going to kind of arrange them how you want them. Normally I do. Get them working the way I want them to work. Let's get that out of our way. So that's generally how I use them. So I do five on the bottom and one on the top. Okay, so after you get that done, all you have to do is if you can see, we're going to be using some of the same holes we already have our zip ties in. 
So just pick whatever two corners you want your pipe cleaners to go in. Kind of snug them in there. You want them nice and snug, nice and tight. You don't want them moving. Just like that. And then you just take it and you make this nice and tight. And then what I like to do is I like to go ahead and twist those completely together. And then I just kind of stick it down back in that hole. That way there's still nothing to scratch your client's door. The back is still completely smooth. No zip tie heads are sticking out. These are on the side. So those aren't gonna scratch your client's door either. And there is our poinsettia. Now I will go ahead and just, you wanna make sure that you clip off the frays that are gonna happen. No big deal. Get that big one right there. So there it is. There is your poinsettia. I will bring you up so you can see it a little bit better. There it is. Your beautiful traditional poinsettia on the Unique in the Creek flower board. So that's it. So I hope y'all enjoy this video and um, that's it. So y'all have a great day. Bye y'all.